Covering Colorado first at five, and with the stroke of a pen, Governor Hickenlooper hopes to limit potential danger from abandoned oil and gas wells across Colorado. He signed an executive order to get rid of what's called orphan wells. He wants all of them plugged in our state. Investigator Rick Salander has been following this issue since a leak from a well caused a deadly explosion in Firestone last year. And Rick is live in rural Boulder County. Rick, a lot of people have been concerned about this. Dominic, as Colorado's population has grown, more and more homes are near oil and gas facilities. And sometimes that can bring trouble. What happened here was not the result of a so-called orphaned well, but the two deaths from the explosion in Firestone set in motion a concern. And it's not just what happened in that specific instance. It's the risk of various, I mean, we've never seen that before. I'm not sure we'd ever see it again. The governor ordered an inspection of gas and oil wells. We went along as the inspectors attempted to make sure these wells were safe. Now, the governor has signed an executive order to address the safety of 260 orphaned wells with no known owner. The oil and gas industry will be part of the plugging and remediation of the site. Certainly we have had some uh, operators come into the state um, who probably, uh, for various reasons, uh, lost the financial uh, backing that they needed and left the state in a quick manner. The Firestone well is owned by a major company, Anadarko. It was not abandoned. Sarah Laughlin heads a citizens group that is concerned about the wells. I think it's a start, but it neglects a fundamental safety issue that needs to be addressed fairly quickly. She says those safety issues involve well integrity, such things as trying to avoid blowouts, leaks, and spills. In Northern Colorado, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First. Rick, thank you.